That's five hundred and fifty thousand dollars that they're suing TMOA and Ish Ishmael for. They basically seeking an injunction, and they want to enter a judgment in favor of Raheem against TMOA and Hawk for two hundred thousand dollars in compensatory damages and three hundred fifty thousand dollars in punitive damages. Now. My beef with this is you should have asked for like three yeah. million. I would have asked for exactly whatever that inheritance money was. I, I would have asked millions, millions mm -hmm. of dollars. But you guys might think, oh, that's a lot. Right now. They collect this in a year. Stop it. They collect that in half a year or less. Are you talking about what, 40 years? 40 years of them doing this to people? And, mm -hmm. But here's the great thing. I mean, I don't know what the law, laws may differ by state by state, but there have been cases where a uh, trial by jury that the jury actually awards more than what the person actually asked for. So or anybody sees these numbers and thinks they're huge. Once again, what they are up against, as in Tomoa, TMOA, they're nothing. The answer really like <laughs> and not just by dollar amount the things that sal has went through and how he's going to be affected from this day forward mm -hmm. you cannot put a dollar amount on there but they don't understand that this case has nothing to do with money that's the underlying thing of what we're trying to accomplish and what sal's trying to accomplish sal was taking them to court to get his god-given rights back People need to wake up, and these are the people that are following, calling honorable, and all and whatnot. No, mm -hmm. it's literally pitiful and shameful that we have to go and seek from the non-Muslims <clears throat> what we should be able to, what we should already have, or we should be able to sort out amongst ourselves as Muslims. I mean, don't and have, uh... and real fast. Once again, this is to protect the other members as well, because if we win this case. They ain't never going to be able to do that again.